Hello, good morning, uh, uh, Today we have the privilege of having um, Professor Suzaima Ramli. She's from Unity Pertahanan, right? the National Defense uh, University. And uh, she's going to talk about how to write your research proposal. Uh, this has been the stumbling block for many of you. Huh? Once you have written that, then, as I said, uh, uh, as a chemist, that is the activist humanity. You know, you go up there, the research will pull you down after that. So you uh, uh, work, you have to overcome that huh? research proposal, and also the review of literature. So uh, uh, it is an important component. In fact, uh, Paul, many. Many thought review of literature is in second chapter, so I will read later after the uh, first chapter, which is not true. You have to review first, then you write your, your uh, chapter one. So even though it's, it came out, it comes out in chapter two, it doesn't mean that after writing chapter one, then only you review. Okay, so I leave the rest to our expert here to share with you the uh, uh, how to write the research proposal, which is, is an important component in research. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. <coughs> Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Okay, I'm Suzai Maramli. I'm from uh, Defence University of Malaysia, uh, National Defence of In uh, Malaysia University. Okay, um, before I begin uh, my uh, talk for today, I would like to know a little bit uh, background about all of you. Okay. Uh, uh, so, how many of you doing your master? You can all of you doing your PhD? DBA. Oh, you DBA? Uh, some of DBA PhD. Okay. Uh, and the background, you um, DBA management, right? Okay, science technology. No. Um, Science, social, social science, accounting, mostly. Okay, um, <clears throat> for your information, I'm, uh, my area is computer science um, and image processing. Okay, so uh, maybe what I talk today is uh, uh, more to uh, technology, but uh, can I can switch uh, to what you want to know and you can ask me uh, during uh, our uh, talk today, okay? Mm, I'm, uh, for, my, uh, for background, I'm uh, teaching for uh, more than 15 years. Uh, I... I started at the um, private college, college and then uh, I joined uh, ATMA before the UPNM or National Defence University is set up. I joined ATMA uh, as a lecturer and then I, I uh, do my PhD uh, at UKM in image processing. Okay, uh, at 2000, I got my PhD at 2011. Okay, um, then uh, now I'm a uh, 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 student computer science, Bachelor of Computer Science, and also a research methodology class uh, at U uh, UPNM. Okay, so uh, just a little bit uh, background. Okay, so... Now you have done your proposal. On the way. On the way to uh, to come up with your research proposal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, a research proposal. What you want to propose. Okay, what you want to propose and uh, firstly, uh, you you must come up with the proposal, and what are the things that are really important in the research proposal? Um, you can change after you uh, you are doing your PhD, your your DBA. 
you can change your research proposal to be a chapter one. Okay, you can change it because what are in the research proposal are in the chapter one. There are introduction, there are objective, there are uh, scope, uh, limitation, um, what background of your research. Okay, and a little bit uh, background to it, uh, we can change it to literature review. So what I I want to cover today is your chapter one and chapter two. Okay, chapter two the literature review. So what are the literature review? Okay, uh, just uh, you are back, your background. You are lecturer or just want to do to get a PhD? Just suka. Lecturer, where? Asia Pacific, up it. Okay. Uh, so, so, you? Uh, I'm a retired. Retired. I just want to get your DBA. Well, very good. I, I like your uh, enthusiasm. Okay, so you, Mr. Tanaga National. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Wow. Very good. Yeah. Okay, very good. Very good, sir. You? Uh, miss? I'm, so I'm doing research focus on the entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship, okay. Uh, currently, I'm jobless. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, sir, you? Retired. Retired. From? Uh, yes, I was in the manufacturing industry. Wow. Very good. Uh, wow. So, is it involve any... Uh, image processing. We have, but I'm not a specialist on that because I'm not in this country. Oh, very good. <laughs> I'm very lucky today because I uh, have um, uh, we introduced a lot of uh, experience from you. Okay, so you, sir. Uh, I'm from Tanaga National. Tanaga National. So, and you want you want to do what in your? Uh, okay, <coughs> my my study is on. Uh, okay, I'm uh, with TMB, the Naga National. So uh, my, I'm DBA student. Okay, so the thing is, uh, my thesis right now actually is concentrating on one of the um, subsidiary company that's approved by our management. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is more on the uh, turnover employee turnover intention that is impacted by the uh, the HRM practices. So that is my uh, scope scope of study for that particular subsidiary company. Yes, because the turnover rate uh, for that particular subsidiary company for from 2015 to 2018 actually has increased exponentially. That means there are a lot of people leaving that particular company. Yes. Uh, hi, I'm uh, from a retail industry. It's about the changes of the retail industry. Like from offline shopping to online shopping, yeah. the different. Today's trend. Yeah. Okay. I work in the uh, warehousing and logistics industry. Logistics yeah. Industry. Okay, thank you, sir. 
I was a banker before, and then uh, became lecturer. Uh, yeah, lah, private private universities, uh, but now retired already. Uh, um, actually, my uh, my professor has been approved for quite some time, <laughs> but maybe because I pro procrastinated in it. <laughs> now I have, I did something else. Now uh, I think I have to continue it to finish. Uh, Okay, um, <coughs> I, I sebenarnya risau juga ni. I rasa I tak banyak experience uh, because you lagi uh, lot experience uh, in the industry. Uh, okay, so what I I want to to uh, talk today is about what is research method research methodology. Uh, Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, because right. Uh, I I have one. Uh, I have Azmin one student. Uh, he. Have, uh, he is a manager for IT company at uh, Africa, at um, all, all around the world. And uh, he took maybe uh, six to seven years to do to finish his PhD. Because what? Uh, because not because he don't know, but the the systematic the. The how they want uh, the thesis, okay. That's what uh, I want to share to you today, okay. Uh, the risk method, the step, okay. Uh, yesterday you have uh, um, got the lecture from AP Zaida, right? Okay. So uh, maybe I I want to add some uh, some more. Um, Knowledge about what uh, you have to do in your research. Okay, <coughs> research design and what's not is uh, I I know you you have come with the guideline, the strategy, how to collect what is your data. Okay, how you want to analyze it and. Uh, Obtain answer for the research question. I I I will give you the all the slide. Okay, uh, explain how to find answer for the research question. You you maybe uh, have a lot of question, right? And you you don't know what uh, I want to do. I want to research what what yang I can research it. I can uh, uh, find what you want to do. Research design specify all tasks and procedure that we perform to find answer. Okay, can I do this? Can I do that? Okay, uh, research problem. So what is the problem? Uh, actually, uh, when we we do the research, we will. Uh, create the problem. Dalam kehidupan kita tak nak problem. We don't want the problem. But in research, we create the problem. We ask what is. Is it uh, can solve or not? Okay. So research problem determine the research design. Okay. You must be um, come with the from the the general the general problem. And you must um, do the uh, single single thing that uh, we derive the problem, okay? The general problem and the, uh, into the specific problem, okay? So purpose uh, because we want to save time and minimize cost of the research, ensure research activity runs smoothly and systematically. 
minimize error of data collection, and minimize bias and maximize reliability of the result. So we want what is the result. I know all of you have got your problem. But is it the right research problem? Is it the R? Okay, sir, can you come? Come here and... <coughs> you are from? PhD, okay. So I here, you are from? Uh, you are uh, with the university or? This university, okay. So, <coughs> characteristic of good research design. Able to product, uh, produce reliable and consistent result. Okay, is it uh, the, you have the data? Uh, the one yang, uh, that you uh, told me just now, is it they have a data? Okay, correct instrument. So you can uh, you can measure method or experiment test rate are chosen. Okay. Cover all procedure data, analysis method to find answer to research question and objective and general, uh, generalizability, number of data collected, measure, able to be used to draw certain generalization. Okay? You have your data. Okay, uh, so, uh, your, miss, uh, sir, you, you have your, what is your data? Just now, you, you told me that you, you want to do this, you want to do that. Uh, three to four IR, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are, we, uh, are we ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Missing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, but you must remember, you have to stop. You have to uh, find your full stop. Because if you want to do this, and then uh, you only get three years for your PhD. That you want, you have to remember. Uh, you, you have, uh, I know, when you are lot of information, lot of place, you, you don't know where to stop. Okay, so uh, you have to discuss with your supervisor. That's the thing, yang, uh, the very important. Your supervisor can tell you, tell you, okay, you, you stop now. This is enough for your PhD. Okay, so you, you, you don't have to, oh, I want to do this. I want uh, a lot of, uh, because PhD is not, Abroad, but it's death. PhD is in death uh, for a little thing, just a little thing. Okay, PhD is like this. You have a lot of this is your what you 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 know the knowledge, but PhD you just pick one dot and you do a deep depth of it a very depth of the dot that you choose because uh, uh, during our talk today i will show you okay what is the research the, the research thing that you you have to do Okay, <clears throat> so type of research design, uh, descriptive, correlational, uh, descriptive, what is descriptive? Describe set of data, subject or phenomenon with word, numbers or both. 
observational case study, survey, case study or, uh, or survey, survey. You you must have your um, sample. You want to ask people, is it uh, okay in Malaysia we we do um, for example. Uh, we don't want our children to wear white shirt. Okay. So we ask all the mothers in Malaysia. Do you do you uh, uh, agree that our children can wear any colors to to the school? Okay. So we uh, ask them. As we have the question. Okay. So there's a population the whole Malaysia. But if we want to ask only in Klang Valley, okay, that's your sample. Uh, a small uh, portion of the population. Okay, that's an example. Okay. After we ask them, okay, and then uh, we, ha we got another sample. Okay, Orang Kedah, they agree that they don't want to wear any colors. They want only white colors. Okay, so we have two sample from Kedah and from Kuala Lumpur. But the population is Malaysia. Understand? Can, can you see? Okay, and then we compare the Kuala Lumpur people, mothers in Kuala Lumpur and mothers in Kedah. Okay, the question is, only one. Do we agree that our children can wear any colors to school? Okay. So uh, we can get the result from the sample and, uh, for example, here purchasing trend handphone among UPNM students. Okay. As you know, um, our students uh, at UPNM they are a uh, cadets. And cadet, they have um, uh, get their salary. Uh, for example, for first year, they uh, they can get uh, a thousand, and for the fourth year, maybe they can get their salary uh, around two to three thousand for a uh, uh, trend in UPNM. So, um, our student, UPNM student, have uh, got uh, more. Uh, high-end handphone uh, compared to the lecturer. Okay, because they get their own salary. So, so we investigate the relationship between variable does not cover cost and effect. Okay, why you pay student student can uh, purchase in trend handphone? Okay, positive correlation, negative correlation. Because UPNM students uh, have their own salary. But if we compare to AEU uh, students, maybe we cannot compare because AEU have a matched student. But uh, we compare to uh, UM student. UM student, uh, they don't have their own salary. They, they get their um, <coughs> scholarship. So... Is it uh, what we want to check? Method, kita, uh, we do the observation. We do ar archive data. We check. Okay. Uh, before 2020, 2020, we, uh, how the, the trend. Okay. And 2019, how the trend. Okay, then this experimental, the correlation, the descriptive, the experimental involved test instrument. Okay, so investigate cost effect relation. That's the, a very a simple example. Um, mothers in Kuala Lumpur want all their children to wear not white uh, shirt. But uh, that's the, Example, you can uh, begin your research question or research design by asking a very simple question. Like, for example, like this. Uh. 
uh, purchasing trend handphone among uh, Malaysian or among uh, teenagers in Malaysia. Okay, a simple, a simple, and then you just get what is the uh, how you want to know. Macam ni, you nak tahu a uh, trend anak-anak muda di Malaysia yang beli handphone. Can I mix? Okay, English and the M. Okay. Macam ni you nak tahu. So, you have questionnaire. Ah, That's the thing yang you akan sampai nanti uh, uh, when you are at third semester, your supervisor will ask you. Okay, you do the questionnaire. What, what how you formulate the question in the questionnaire. Uh, that's the thing yang you kena, uh, nanti kita akan belajar lah. Ajar along the way you you do your research, you will have to learn okay, how to formulate question in the questionnaire. Uh, that's the one important thing you have to do in your, uh, during your, uh, during your study. Okay? Research approach. Okay. Kita dah, uh, okay, ada juga Uh, yang tadi, kita buat eksperimen. Kita masuk lab. Uh, tadi, eksperimental. Okay, eksperimental. Kita, kita, uh, kita buat dekat lab. Selalu, uh, for kimia, for sign, we do, we measure in the lab. Ah, yeah. I, I have give this to, to the... Uh. Okay. So you, um, beside of questionnaire, you can test it. You are in the uh, industry, uh, in the banking, for example. Uh, how much, <coughs> uh, how much the teenagers spend for their uh, life, for their luxury, luxury life, uh, for handphone, for motorcycle. For um, every this uh, expendi uh, expenditure, okay. So you can uh, you this we can uh, from the uh, descriptive or we do the questionnaire. But uh, for a sign, we want to test whether is it this water is safe for human. So we have to test it um, in the lab. So what is the um, the content? Uh, the contain? Uh, what is this water contain? What is types of mineral that contain in this water? So if you are the sign per uh, person, you have to test it in the lab because if you look at this water, you can know. You have to to get the tool to measure the types of mineral in the in this water mineral. Okay, how much uh, the natural mineral in this water? So you have to test. You have to go to the lab. Okay, is your if you are the scientist is it in the sign? Okay, uh, if you are in the accounting. And the social sign. Okay, you can do the descriptive. The correlation between um, uh, today's relationship between variable, um, like for example, yang tadi lah. Okay, uh, the social sign. How uh, uh, the youth think about. Our government, for example, uh, what did they think? Is it uh, how the uh, how the the youth today uh, think about our uh, leaders? Maybe they they think uh, the leaders must open, not uh, 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 we compare it to uh, era 1990s. It's different, okay? So, this is type of research design yang you have to 
involved in your research. And you must put this in your proposal. Okay, approach. Uh, qualitative. Interview, observation, you must have to interview. You get all the, <coughs> uh, what is your population? You set what is po your population? What is your sample? And then you must interview them. Kalau you kata youth in Malaysia. Uh, pandangan youth about our leaders. I see. So you kena cari youth-youth yang ada dekat Malaysia. And then dapatkan dia punya pandangan. You interview them. Okay. You observation. You do. You 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 sit at the uh, shopping complex and tengok, see around. What are the youth do? Is it they have to lepak, uh, suka minum uh, yang mahal mahal, hipster cafe? Okay. So we. We do the observation. Quantitative, numerical data. Okay, method, measurement, experiment. Okay, yang if you sign technology tadi, do memang this one you memang akan involve numerical data, measurement. Uh, how much uh, mineral contained in this water? Uh, so, this is a uh, uh, measurement. We must experiment it. We put uh, some chemical to detect the natural mineral. So that is the uh, the numerical, the quantitative. Yang observation, interview, pendapat. Okay, we want to know how, what is the trend of four G? What is the example of three G? Uh, so you you have to interview. Determine of research design depend on research question. Okay. So you nanti, you punya research design depend on research question. What is the effect of sodium salt into the electrolyte? Okay. So research design, quantitative and experiment. Okay, now I want you to uh, write what is your research design? Is it a quantitative or qualitative and experiment? Now, uh, any any notes uh, that you have now? Please write. What is the research design, quantitative and experiment? Okay, please. Just write anywhere you can write. Uh, <coughs> what is research design, quantitative and Experiment. Satu uh, kertas kosong. You write now. Okay. What is your research design? Is it quantitative or qualitative? And what is experiment you want to do? You want to ask who you want to ask? Who you want to observe? Who do you want to interview? Okay. Ken, just one minute. Okay, I give you one minute. Please, right now. Sekarang kita, we can, we tak try, we tak tahu. Yes, sir. Siapa yang dah? Angkat tangan. Okay. What's your quantitative? What you want to uh, experiment or no experiment? Yeah. What quantity? Survey. What, uh, who you want to ask? Who you want to ask? Uh, who? Determining. Okay, you? is uh, descriptive and I'm doing survey, survey. and uh, the approach I choose is quantitative the respondent is the community college student okay very good do you sir uh, my design is on a descriptive study yeah. so uh, it's definitely is quantitative 
okay? Uh, the respondent is uh, the, the full-time staff in the TMB subsidiary. Okay, very yeah. good. Uh, you know what you want to do. Okay, sir? My research is on uh, quantitative doing SEM application. SEM? Yeah. SEM? Yeah. Application level. Wow. Okay. Very good. So, sir, you? Uh, um, mine is research, part time research, uh, uh, based on descriptive and quantitative. Based on descriptive and quantitative. Yes. And you want to? Uh, my, my research is uh, good governance on the uh, NGOs. Okay, so you? Mine is actually descriptive, and the state status of industrial relation in the con industry organization, okay. it will be qualitative, qualitative. and questionnaire and conversion. Okay, very good. You know what you want to do, okay, sir? Uh, I'm thinking of quantitative. Leadership. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Service. Service. And who I you want to I ask? Decide. Not decide. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you, sir? Uh, mixed method. Mixed method. Quality, okay. Quality it's quality. very good. Here you say about mixed method. What is mixed method? Uh, it's a combination of qualitative and yeah. quantitative. Very good. Okay. What I'm doing is doing it in Comparing. Not before, uh, not, not stages. Yeah. Uh, my uh, unit of uh, analysis will be the SME. SME. And uh, I will uh, approach the respondent, uh, the CEO, senior, senior managers of the SME in the manufacturing and sales of the company. Okay. You know who the. So you, sir? Uh, research design is correlational, Quan quantitative, quantitative, survey, survey, and target. Audience or respondents will be the IT people. IT people. IT people. Yeah. Okay, so you are um, now uh, IT people. Uh, for 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 what? For what? We meet the conditions of this uh, disaster recovery plan. Disaster. Yeah. DRP. Disaster recovery planning. Because if something happens, uh, we don't. Uh, we don't. We have. Uh, we don't have electricity for only five minutes. What happened to the traffic light? Okay, you can see, right? If we don't have only five minutes, it disaster. Uh, at the four junction. Uh, okay, that one that uh, Mr. Uh, he will do the DRP. Uh, for example, it's only a simple lah that I give, but maybe her, uh, his uh, research is more towards uh, when, because uh, if you remember, <coughs> uh, before 2000, we have a problem to, uh, problem apa yang when 2000, kita before uh, 1990, and we want to transfer to, 2000. Y2K problem. Okay. That's IT company masa tu pening. Okay? Uh, macam mana kita nak define zero tu? Nak nak uh, nak different between uh, 2000 or 1990. Okay? Or uh, Okay, so that's the that's the thing that you want. Okay. Congratulate all of you know what you want to do. That's okay. So information gathering. Ah, this one yang important yang kita kena check. Okay. This one yang um, when you want to do first when you are think about you want to do PhD or master. First, your supervisor will will talk uh, will tell you. Okay, do your literature. Do your literature. So, what is your literature? You, you, you have to read. You have to read. You have to, to check. Okay, before kita kena check. 
uh, information gathering, literature review, reason to check whether the selected research question has been asked before or not. Any similarity of other work? Okay, similarity ni jangan risau. You don't have to worry about the similarity because <clears throat> in our research, we change a little bit. We twist a little bit result or data. It dah different dengan orang lain. So you don't have to worry about the similarity. Okay, if you dah buat, okay, you dah tiga tahun dah in your PhD. At last, you tengok, eh, really similar to mine. Macam mana ni, you dah dah pening, you dah tak boleh nak makan dah semua. But don't worry, because your supervisor will change. We ask you to change a little bit, you can be a, a new, uh, new uh, research, new... Uh, New uh, research lah, so not really uh, affected lah kalau similarity ni. Okay, so avoid repeat other research word. Kalau if memang betul betul sama, kita akan change lah. Kita akan tukar sikit je pun kita boleh jadi. Sebab because approach, kadang kadang approach, maybe dia do the uh, experiment, tapi you do the quality, uh, you do the experiment. Uh, you you do the survey, you do the observation. So there is a different between you and the uh, others work. Okay. So originality is very important. Journal, article, book. So you have to read journal. Okay. Um. Uh, mine before I begin my PhD, my supervisor say you have to read uh, ten paper a day. So, is it I baca? Oh, baca. Yes, I read the paper but um, baca and then fall asleep. Because it's very tak interesting baca jurnal. Is it? Is it interesting? Kalau you rasa baca jurnal is interesting, you are very good student. Okay. Jurnal, article, books. Tapi um, after 2000, um, kita can get all the information in the article. Books ni uh, for the basic, fundamental information. Okay, kita saya dah jarang. Uh, I I recently go to the library. Uh, just we can get now we can get uh, all the information online. Okay, so <coughs> it's very um, easy today for today. So identify common matter instrument uh, used by other research, other researcher. So you can, when you do the literature, you can find this one. The common method, the instrument yang digunakan oleh other researcher. Okay, provide idea on how to proceed and identify current research trend. Okay. You rasa you dah buat tu dah canggih. Okay, but... Other people dah buat sebenarnya. So you can change. You can change a little bit. At this part, you can change the method, instrument. Uh, maybe they have uh, 10 questions. So you uh, come up with 20 questions for your questionnaire. You ask more uh, and you check uh, more uh, variable, dependent variable. So... Uh, it's okay. That's not similar to others. <clears throat> okay, data collection. Uh, how to collect. So, how to collect and when to collect is, I think it's better for you to start at third semester. Or, if you, uh, you start collect your data, you have your data before third semester, dah ba lagi bagus. But if you tak tahu macam when uh, your supervisor said, okay, first semester you do your proposal. Second semester you uh, do your literature. Third semester you collect your data. Okay. Tapi if you lagi awal you can collect your data, it's very good. Because we can test the data. If you have your data earlier 
as early as you can is very good. Because uh, at Japan, uh, once you want to do the, uh, the research proposal, uh, the supervisor will ask you to go to the lab first. Okay, you test the data. If the data can test or can uh, give some result, okay, you can proceed with your research. That's in Japan. But in Malaysia, uh, when the student wants to do the PhD or master, uh, you do your literature. Uh, that's the supervisor will say. Okay. You do the, your literature first. But in Japan, the, uh, the difference. Okay. So here is all the things you have to, to do. This question you have, can you answer? Can you answer now? How to collect your data? Okay, uh, so you can tell, tadi, you, you can uh, do the uh, survey. Okay, okay lah. Uh, who you want to ask? Uh, how to ensure is a reliable? How many sample? Uh, how IT engineers you want to ask? How many? Berapa orang? Okay. Ada tak uh, statistical, uh, statistical approach in this analysis? You dah biasa tak pakai software-software statistik? Ada tak? PLS lah, um, pakai SPSS. Ha, yang itu kena? Okay, I, I ada. And then sekarang kalau bukan hanya statistik, uh, statistik diorang boleh pakai approach yang uh, kalau bidang computer science, dia ada satu lagi teknik, dia panggil data mining. It's a new approach yang sekarang orang boleh selain daripada statistik, orang akan guna this. Data mining. Sebab dalam data mining kita boleh buat macam-macam. Prediction, kita boleh analyze, kita boleh tengok depend variable, what is under the variable, lots of things. Okay? So, if you rasa statistik, you dah okay dengan statistik, you nak tukar sikit because katakanlah yo yo yang you, you dah buat tadi orang lain tu semua pakai statistik dia pakai ANOVA dia pakai uh, mean question semua-semua tu tapi you change it to data mining okey so you res your research nanti kalau orang lain kata okey i buat uh, kajian tentang Uh, barangan online ke tak online ni Orang pakai statistik I do the data mining approach okay. That's the difference Okay Yeah That's a, a different if lah, if you want to change to data mining because um, maybe yeah, your, uh, how, uh, just now I said that how you, you formulate the question in your questioning, okay. Yeah. 
maybe yeah, it may be different uh, at the end of the research. Uh, uh, the question, kadang, -kadang uh, we we tengok juga uh, the way uh, in your area, in your area and in your what are your research uh, target, audience or anything. Kadang, kadang we check uh, the step. The, the research method semua, semua tu, we can um, <coughs> check the question is it uh, how you formulate it and then at the end how you get the data. Okay, so it's okay kadang-kadang sebab kita tengok pada you punya research area. Kalau macam bagi I orang computer science ni and it's okay sebenarnya we, we tak tengok sangat how you formulate but we tengok pada how you get. Uh, that's that's the thing. So uh, it's okay nanti kalau dia akan tengok pada you punya area sebab nanti examiner you is come from the dia, dia akan tengok examiner who is your what is your background and dia akan ambil orang yang in the same background. Kalau lain tu nanti dia akan jadi problem sikit lah. Okay so tak apa. <coughs> Result must be validate. Okay. Some, we can validate it by us, the expert. For example, if we do something yang memang uh, relate to the expert, we have to ask the expert. For example, we we what research and ask about the uh, expert of psychology. So, we must validate the result that we get from our uh, questionnaire, we validate it from the expert. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Some of some of the result we we must validate. Some. Uh, we can validate it using the statistic. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Some of yeah. I I I see that if your research have their, uh, for example, have the expert, for example, psychology or um, some of the result, your supervisor must, uh, must ask you, okay, go and validate it. But some, we, we don't have to. We just uh, rely on the software, the statistical that we uh, check uh, from the uh, from the result and we compare it. For uh, it's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> because sekarang, uh, for example, kita kalau yeah different school. Kalau IT maybe uh, because we we have the for example we do the expert system. Uh, expert system, they have we ask the doctor and we don't uh, want to ask the doctor we. We just ask the system, the machine, okay? So to test it whether it's validate or not, we ask the expert the doctor. Uh, that and before the system can uh, and used by other people, okay? <clears throat> Always refer to research question and objective. Okay, objective is very important because kalau you dekat dalam viva. Uh, your examiner, your external, they can ask you question. Uh, you can check that. Oh, sir, this is out of my scope. Okay, you set the scope. You set the objective. So the objective is very important. Yeah, of your research. Sebab you tak boleh nak buat lebih. Kalau selalunya for PhD or DBA, they memang set three, only three. Objective. Because satu objektif satu tahun. You tak boleh buat lima. Kalau empat pun, 
uh, selalunya when you defend your proposal, your um, penilai examiner we said that just buang only three objective because you doing one objective uh, satu tahun. Sebab tu saya kata tadi PhD not all. Kalau you fikir awal-awal memang kita fikir a lot of thing we want to do and very broad. But the PhD is a broad, uh, not a broad, just a small, tiny uh, what we want to do but in depth of the whole thing. Only death. Maksudnya, you have to cater all the uh, the thing that affect your research. Uh, your data. Dia akan affect. So, you can uh, check yang tu. Okay. Um, <coughs> dia dia akan berbeza bagi area yang berbeza. Uh, macam Miss cakap tadi lah. Dia akan berbeza. If you are in computer, what yang kita akan tengok? In technology, what yang kita tengok? Tapi kalau dalam uh, social science, dia akan tengok efek pada reality. The data itself. Okay. And efek pada keadaan semasa. Okay. Uh, I have a friend yang dia buat pasal pilihan raya. Okay. Election. So, election result is different. Contoh bagi sokongan. Contoh kan. Uh, the supporters. It's different from GE, uh, last GE and before the last GE. Okay? So, it's, it's very different. Macam mana kita nak tengok support of Malay or Chinese or Indian? For example lah. Okay? So, that's the thing yang uh, benda yang kita tak boleh nak ramai. Uh, yang memang dia akan berubah-ubah. Kalau dia buat yang itu, maybe dia kena lama sikit lah. Ha. Previous, previous Ya yeah. Ya yeah. Betul That's the thing uh, Because um, Kalau kita nak tengok macam tu Kita tak boleh nak set Because benda tu dia uh, Dia akan uh, Rapidly changes Because support, uh, supporter kita, kita kata We want to check the trend of supporter uh, of Malaysian government For example lah, our, our topic So, how benda tu dia akan uh, Satu malam pun dia boleh twist kan uh, About how orang akan support uh, government ni uh, So, itu dia punya perbezaan Benda yang uh, rapid changes But we must check Kadang-kadang uh, kita tengok juga uh, So sekarang my friend ada yang buat pasal Sentiment analysis Sentiment uh, From how The uh, sentiment Yang dia orang tengok Sebab sekarang ni sentiment analysis Kita boleh check dekat social media A Very every day We can check okay? Orang ni cakap macam ni Orang cakap macam ni uh, Tapi we must put at uh, Just One full stop. Okay, that's it. Because you have your own objective, you have your own scope. Uh, that's you. Ha you have to remember. Okay, data analysis. How you analyze the raw data? Mathematical, theoretical formula, graph needed, error analysis. Further investigation is required. So remember, engineering science and technology research. Find reason why those results. Uh, not only trend of the result. Okay, kalau science technology dia ada lain sikit lah. Because dia tak pada, uh, bukan yang benda yang macam rapid changes. Macam tadi lah. <coughs> ah, breakdown. So, only three. Remember, only three objective. You tak boleh put five objective uh, to show that you are very good. Not. Bukan sebab kita tak nak, kita, kita, kita set, kita kena set tiga. Because you only have three years. So please, kalau you rasa you banyak sangat nak buat, 
But uh, we only set three objectives. What is objective one? Literature review dia, methodnya apa, result and conclusion. And then overall conclusion. Kalau you tengok kat sini, it's very easy to get your PhD, right? <laughs> very easy. <laughs> Okay, objective one, objective two, objective three. Okay. <laughs> yeah? Uh, only one. Oh, tak cukup, nanti tak sampai. Not enough for your, you can, uh, not enough for your PhD. Uh, you have said, uh, because uh, objective one, objective two is support from the objective one. Okay. Objective three is support from the objective two. It related, related. <coughs> yeah, the sub sub. Okay. Uh, so, uh, kalau, yeah. There's a a, a short short uh, a simple macam it support from one objective, the main objective. Okay. What is the main objective? And then you uh. You break down to objective one, objective two, objective three. Uh -huh. Can, because... Uh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, everybody uh, believe can and... Uh, how uh, is it what you want to check? Can tu dari segi teknologinya, or dari segi persediaan mindanya? Kasur, uh, uh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you sub, you break down it. Uh, can is the main. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can we proceed? Or we want to take... I think five. Ah, I think that's all for this research design. Okay, we take five. Okay, so
Okay, so uh, we proceed with the uh, research proposal writing. Okay. Uh, maybe you have your own research proposal. You can uh, follow this. You check. Uh, you you can check it. Uh, <coughs> So, there's my um, my notes uh, slide uh, during a uh, research proposal class in UPNM. Okay, what is research proposal? Research is what is research is any form of discipline inquiry that aim to contribute to body of knowledge of or theory. Okay, a theory. A research proposal is a concise and coherent summary of your proposed research. It's set question that you intend to address. It's outline the area of your study. Okay? It's outline the current state of knowledge and debates on the topics. And it also demonstrates the originality of your proposed idea. <clears throat> One, uh, one's research is only as good as one's proposal, good kick, and important in research process. Okay, so you have to defend your research proposal at this sec. At this, what semester, uh, Prof. Chow? Uh, defend proposal? First year, okay? You have to defend your research proposal. And after, uh, as your research proposal defend uh, is um, you are <coughs> approved, so you can proceed uh, with the data and all the things that you have to uh, finish it uh, within three years. Okay? So, what are in the research proposal? All these things. Okay? You have to identify the problem statement. And you have to formulate hypothesis. Reviewing the literature. Constructing research design. Analysis of data. And generating a conclusion. Okay. That's all the things that uh, the research process you have to do. Okay, what are the purpose of research proposal? So first, you ha you ca you can get your research studentship. Okay, uh, in UK, before you defend your proposal, you are only the PhD candidates. Okay, after you approve uh, your proposal, research proposal is approved. You can proceed, so you are called as a uh, PhD student. Okay, that's in UK. But in Malaysia, somewhere, PhD student. Okay, so uh, the purpose of research proposal, you, you also can get uh, from the research proposal, you can apply for the research fund. <clears throat> in Malaysia, we have a lot of research fund from the uh, Kementerian uh, MOE have uh, a, a lot of research fund, uh, fund also the uh, MASTEC also have the research fund the relevant and value of the proposed research next what you should include in the proposal okay what you are should include in your research proposal uh, this one is topic of the research proposal. So, you can put the research topic, your PhD topic. <clears throat> but, um, maybe sometime uh, when you viva at the end of your uh, study, maybe uh, this research can, we can justify, we can adjust it to suit to your what you have done. So maybe they akan edit, edit, edit sikit lah. But, uh, for, kenapa kita kena ada topics? Because, kita nak follow what, uh, when you are doing your research, kita tak lari. Tak lari jauh. So, you you stick 
at what your topic. Kadang-kadang when you <coughs> you, you, <coughs> you uh, your research, what you are doing for your PhD, you can uh, base on the topic. So the topics must be clear and uh, get uh, the your supervisor. We say that is it enough or not enough for PhD level. So the topic itself. Okay, then you must put the introduction in your research proposal. Purpose and justification of the study. Research question and hypothesis. Brief overview of your study. Okay. And then objective of the study. Brief literature review on the research topic. Theory, the main theory, the study directly, direction, and tangibility uh, related. <clears throat> and then the research methodology. The description of research design, sample, instrument use, uh, justification of the technique, or method of analysis use, discussion, or parameter involved. Okay, all these you must have in your research proposal. Okay. Siapa yang dah ada tu, dia akan rasa macam, oh, I tak ada. I rasa lega sikit. Kalau masih ada kosong-kosong-kosong, uh, you, uh, you kena put, you kena complete, kena siapkan, completekan. Okay, so kita tengok satu-satu. Uh, content, conclusion. Conclusion, brief summary, the procedure employed, expected outcome, finding, work planning. You have, you should have your work planning, your gun chart. Do you have your gun chart? Not, not yet. Okay, tak apa. After this, you can do your gun chart. Reference, bibliography, appendix. Is it, uh, <coughs> have the appendix. Okay. And biasanya uh, research proposal kita kena ada around 10 to 15 pages only. Tak perlu panjang-panjang. 25? Huh? Oh, 30 pages. Okay. Uh, if uh, at the UPNM, uh, when we want to... Um, want to apply for the PhD or master, we we can uh, just do a, a 10 to 15 pages proposal for the uh, university check what is you want to do only. Okay. After we, uh, the application is approved, we can, we have to uh, buy key lah. Buy key the proposal around uh, 20, uh, 20 to 25 only. Uh, because, uh, no, uh, it's different. Kalau science technology is a little bit longer. But, uh, 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 no, uh, so science is a little bit longer. But uh, for science and technology, only 10 to 15 is okay. Kalau uh, science and technology, memang the 10 to 15 saja. Okay? Or 10 to 20 pages. It's enough. So, uh, kita kena ikutlah AAU, dia kena 30 pages. Okay. So, title. Uh, title ni yang, sebab dia akan guide. Dia akan guide what you want to do in your research. So, kadang-kadang, uh, you buat uh, topics ni, dia kena ada beberapa benda yang kena ada dalam topics. Uh, so, um, uh, the what you want to do consists a uh, definite concise title that give a clear and accurate indication of your study area study area around ten word in length mm. ten words saja in length <coughs> should be catchy informative and interesting just 
a tentative title may revise accordingly for example lah uh, because uh, maybe kita dah nak viva nanti your supervisor akan revise semula or after defend uh, proposal defend kita akan revise you punya topics so no worries just do what you want to do just write the title and then kita akan define it dalam proposal okay so for example evaluation of microwave microscopy for de electric uh, characterization experimental investigation on improved solvation loss in optical wave guide for example lah okay this is only example okay. so introduction ah first you have to define the nature of the problem so you define your <coughs> nature of the problem background related to the study rationale purpose to carry out the study why you want to do this okay oh itu tadi introduction and then objective several statement that emphasize what you ultimately want to achieve concise and clear to the outline the intended study usually objective are focus feasible and traceable or can measure uh, that one for example you want to uh, check you want to check uh, what is the use uh, use uh, trend uh, uh, using gadget for example okay outline how your research address gets or build up the existing knowledge relevant to research question hypothesis or research goal and require refinement from time to time so nanti you akan check <coughs> objective what you want for example uh, can malaysia accept 3g can malaysian accept 4g if can how we can accept is it we ready to accept for that's the thing yang you want to check okay objective literature review ah yang ni nanti i akan uh, bagi tahu you detail about literature review how we want to do okay describe most important study theories model that related to your proposed research address the proposed topic clearly in relevant research content through critical analysis you have to do it critically okay uh, of existing research to convey your understand of the key issue and debate precise overview of the current state of research and able to link to your proposed research discuss existing alternative method approach relevant to your research focus on theoretical and practical knowledge gaps that your research aim to address as to justify and provide significant in your research okay um from the literature review also you can get the question you want to ask in your questionnaire uh, and how they formulate the question uh, how the other the other research formulate the question and you want to to re, to formulate your question uh depend or you refer to the question in the literature review <coughs> that's yang uh, kalau you buat uh, qualitative yang ada survey yang ada questionnaire so yang itu is very important because kita takut uh, result nanti dia tidak menggambarkan apa yang you tanya dalam survey because you salah question because you refer keadaan yang lain you nak tanya lain tapi jawapan dapat lain that's the thing yang is very important kalau you buat qualitative you kena ada uh, kena ada yang tadi tu
konsep tu kan. Okay, yang ni. So literature review dia kata common mistake lacking organized, lacking focus and coherent, fail to cite influential and recent sources, failing to critical evaluate cited paper. Okay, uh, Aida as Aida jadi external examiner uh, more than ten student uh, PhD and master. So this one yang diorang selalu lack. Diorang cuma lapor, just just put the uh, literature view. Dia kata Ali twenty thousand uh, said that this one, this one, this one, but they not critically analyze. And uh, refer to research what uh, they have done. Maksudnya, dia kena relate to what you have done in your research. And critically analyze why orang tu buat macam tu. And why you buat your research macam ni. Okay, itu gunanya kita buat literature. Kita buat literature because kita nak <coughs> our research is up to date. Dan uh, tidak sama dengan orang lain. Tidak, not similar, kita ada different, kita ada gap dengan uh, research orang lain. Ya? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Why? Why you tak agree? Because you nak uh, do like this. You have your own method like this. So, you tak agree because dia buat macam tu. So, and then, hopefully, Your result is better than him. <coughs> yeah. Ah, uh, we we just have to justify uh, why your research is macam tu and why his research macam tu. So you can ada in uh, this literature you can ada this one yang dia besarkan tu critical analysis. Okay, uh, that's a very important. Okay, so methodology ya. Tadi kita dah tengok juga a little bit uh, what is methodology, qualitative, quantitative. Outline your research method, explaining how you are going to conduct your research. Your method include data archive, field work or interviews, research design, sample, instrumentation, procedural detail. Internal validity data analysis. <coughs> okay, uh, if kita orang sign, orang sign yang perlu dia duduk dalam hutan, dia tengok burung tu dari burung tu bertelur sampailah burung tu terbang. So dia kaji satu per satu. Es berbeza dengan kita yang buat <coughs> duduk dekat dekat ni tulis saja, baca. It's different. Okay. You 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 can you can check different the punya nature of the research, okay? Kalau kita memang kita tak kita tak macam tu kita tak tengok um, <coughs> dari burung tu bertelur sampai burung tu terbang, okay? Dia beza dengan kita yang research kita tengok orang macam mana cara orang tu kerja macam mana cara orang tu dia uh, dia uh, is it to accept or not accept the environment okay it's different so <coughs> so methodology you can add this one in your research proposal you can define okay sekarang after this when you go back you 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 go home you can uh, write okay research design what what am what is my research design what is my sample What is information that I want to do? I want to use. Is it I have to to do the <coughs> survey, the interview? I I have to go to the field works. Okay, procedure detail. Okay, step can. Are uh, you tahu tak buat cata alih a flow chart? Lalu orang dia akan buat flow chart. Okay, what is first? Then, uh, ni flowchart <coughs> Flowchart, okay After this, input And then, after this This is not a, a computer sign or technical Orang-orang biasa social sign pun Dia akan buat step ni, flowchart 
<coughs> flowchart. Okey, kalau tak ada flowchart, kita buat mind map. From this, pergi mana, pergi mana, pergi mana. Dia akan hasilkan yang ini. Kena selalu buat. You have, you must do this. I think every day when you want to bila you tengah belajar ni. My map ni because dia dia akan um, uh, daripada small uh, general dia akan pergi pada specific specific problem. <coughs> you can do every day. Kadang-kadang uh, yang macam kecil-kecil pun. Katakanlah for example we want to go to the market. What we want to buy? Okay. Kita kena pergi pada bahagian-bahagian dia. Okay, bahagian-bahagian apa? Pakaian, for example. Groceries. So, we can do the my map. For example. Okay. <coughs> so, you can also do this. So, you can um, trace where uh, the thing that I lack, I lacking. I uh, I have to do uh, 30 literature for this month. Okay, katakanlah 30 literature every day one paper. Okay, so 30 literature you buat. Okay, day one, satu literature. Tapi but dia, dia akan datang daripada your punya <coughs> topics. Yang sini tadilah. Yang pada yang main ni is your topics. You pecahkan topik apa. Ataupun mula-mula ni you boleh buat. Um, this is topic. Okay, this one is literature review. This is a method. This is a intro. Okay. So, from this literature kembang. Apa dia? Ha, ni boleh. And then this method pun sama. So every day you can get more than I think more than five mind map. Uh, this one is can help you to understand, okay, <coughs> what you want. Uh, and uh, bila dia dah uh, complete, you can get a complete literature uh, research proposal, okay. So methodology, identify data collection and analytical techniques. Okay, before I I cari my supervisor, uh, I went to a few university to find my supervisor that can suit to what I want to do. Okay, I have a mind map. I have to uh, I do the my own mind map. Uh, what I want to do, and I find it uh, through the internet uh, that suit the, the the name of supervisor and the area that suit to what I want to do, okay. And then after that, I go to see the supervisor and approach him uh, or her. Uh, is it uh, they are really uh, know what I want to do and they are uh, they agree? To supervise me. Okay, first I went to uh, UTM, uh, and then I go to UM. Uh, I I I I come to see uh, them and go to their lab to see what they are they are doing now and is it suit to what I want to do. And then at last I go to the UKM and one of them is uh, agree. And uh, maybe it's a li change a little bit, but it's okay. So the area itself is the memang what I want to do. So, <coughs> memang I begin with this mind map and flowchart. So it's uh, it, it for you to really understand what you want to do. Okay, and then de identify limitation of your research parameter involved. Okay, and what is parameter involved, variable involved, 
So in your research, you just set that and set a good impression to reviewer by exploring a narrower topic instead. Okay, so you can uh, check uh, the uh, uh, the topics that really uh, berkaitan dengan your what you want to do. Okay. And then project planning. Ah, this one lah. You plan. You you have three years only. And sekarang zaman sekarang, ah uh, dulu kita tak rasa. Can can we? Uh, can I uh, reach the two thousand two thousand? And now we are in the January two zero two zero. When ah uh, Dr Mahadi said about wawasan twenty twenty, I uh, at my matriculation, I think. I in the matriculation. Uh, or in the uh, first year study for my degree. Masa tu, I, eh, you could 2020. Then masa tu kita bayangkan, wah, Malaysia is very uh, maju, ada kapat, kereta tebang semua-semua Okay, and then now, we are in the 2020. Okay. Uh, so, conclude. Uh, so you 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 can plan lah because masa is not three years is not long. It's not too long. <clears throat> it's, it's very rapid. Uh, and then uh, you have to plan and conclude your methodology with a good work schedule. Can I schedule lah? Okay. Every day, how much? Uh, time, hours, yeah, uh, you must spend to your PhD work. Or if you are full-time PhD, it's okay. Uh, all day, you you must spend to, to your work. But you have family also. Uh, that's the thing. I have from three child, I jadi five child when I digress. <laughs> okay? Uh, so, uh, I have to do PhD, I have a uh, jadi student, I have to also jadi a housewife. So, we, can, we have to manage. Show duration of time required to complete each place of work. Gun chai. Okay, this one yang kena, you can ada, you have to do, you have to uh, get your own gun chai and milestone. This helps the reader to evaluate the feasibility of your project. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Ah, this is the gun chart. Okay? Uh, task, you can do a weekly gun chart, monthly gun chart, and yearly gun chart. This is yang I tunjuk ni is weekly gun chart. Weekly, what you want to ni and mesti habis. Projected work period and actual work period done. Ah, yeah, the bezu, eh? Okay. Ah, uh, macam-macam kalau dekat uh, kita punya software, Word, Excel, semua tu dah ada template untuk buat gun chart. Okay, you can follow the template and build your own gun chart. Okay. Bibliography, academic work with address in the proposal. Bibliography is like a references. Okay. A short bibliography identify most relevant work in your topic. Preferable recent publication, the development and current state of your research area. Journal paper. Okay. After this, after this, I can. Uh, I want uh, to introduce you to the Mendeley. Okay. Do you use the Mendeley? Yes, okay, it's very very good. <clears throat> Familiar with the Mendeley or a software that help you to manage your research. Because um, orang yang habis PhD, orang yang finish PhD not because dia punya dia kadang-kadang dia pandai, but dia manage. Because kita kena manage macam-macam every day. Right. With our life, with our study life, with our family. Oh. That's the thing yang kita kena manage. 
Okay, common mistake in proposal writing. Failure to provide proper context to frame research question. <coughs> Dia tak buat. And then, unable to develop coherent and persuasive argument of research. Tak nampak research value. Apa yang you nak research kan? Apa yang you nak uh, find, find out in your research? Okay, unable to provide clear direction. Too short. Uh, less than 1,500 words or too lengthy. Bercita-cita besar, dia akan meletak semua. Okay. So, fail to follow form, uh, format. You have to follow the format. AAU have their own format. Okay, so follow. Proofread, confirm that is confirmed the academic standard and correct any grammatical or spelling errors. I think all of you English okay, tak ada problem. So, yang ni tak ada problem lah. Yang number yang ni tak ada problem. Proper documented with the page personal information, page numbering, table. This is your format lah. Okay. So, AEU dia akan accept when your uh, research proposal is follow dia format. I have uh, one student in AEU. Uh, dia have uh, last year. Dia dah approve dia punya research uh, proposal. So now, she is continuing uh, the second year to finish her PhD. She's from Indonesia. Okay? So, I think is uh, this one you should avoid. Because to get uh, approved when you uh, defend your proposal. <coughs> The general rules to consider. A research report should be written as clearly and concisely as possible. Okay. And also, you have your supervisor to guide you. So, always ask and see your supervisor and discuss with her or him to get a good research proposal. Because your supervisor know the limitation of your research. So you have to always consult uh, her or him to get your research uh, scope limitation and what's not. Because if you as a student, you selalunya shock sendiri. Seriously. You akan buat banyak. Uh, that's yang I, I dah experience. I want a lot of things. Semua I nak. I nak letak, I nak letak. But when you discuss with supervisor, oh this one. Cannot. Tak perlu. It's not for you. Maybe orang lain akan buat. So, you tak perlu buat. Ha. That's the thing. The scope, the limitation. Okay? Research reports are always written in the past tense and free from jargon. Okay, past tense. Uh, a style, uh, this one is uh, format. Semua-semua uh, ni saya rasa AAU dia dah ada. Uh, what is menu uh, format yang sepatutnya? Once report is complete, it's good idea to have a thesis formatter or editor check for style and grammar. So you can. Uh, this is also a software that can help you in your research, in your grammy, uh, grammatical. So I I also download uh, Ginger Ginger software. G I N G E R. They're free. Free software, you can download. Dia boleh tolong check kita punya uh, grammar and spelling. And context of the uh, 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 sentences. Okay? So, computerized program have made research report easier to complete due to self-correcting program. Ah, Ginger, dia akan self-correcting. Dia sama dalam word. Dia boleh, uh, Ginger, kita boleh uh, attach to the a uh, word dalam computer so dia automatically when you write dia akan automatically check uh, so senang <coughs> kita uh, sometimes when um, uh, as a student kita as a student kita kena tahu what yang kita nak buat what is the research yang kita nak buat tapi the software software yang ada dekat dalam Teknologi yang sekarang, dia akan bantu kita. Dia akan assist kita to uh, manage 
to simplify our work. Uh, that's the thing. So you, memang um, kadang-kadang kita boleh minta tolong uh, orang yang lebih muda. Macam anak, uh, a student to assist. But yang this one, dia orang memang uh, level dah tinggi. Dia orang memang boleh tolong kita. So I nasihatkan you jangan buat kerja seorang lah. Memang your research is your. You je yang tahu what you buat. Tapi the step, the manageable, the benda-benda tu, the things you can boleh minta orang tolong. Okay? Okay, next. What are attribute of research proposal for? Uh, this one is uh, not, tak penting sangat lah. Okay, yang ni research proposal. Okay, so I skip this one. Kita akan uh, proceed to um, literature review. Okay? Boleh ya? <coughs> Terus proceed pada literature review. Critical review of the literature. Okay? Understand literature search. <coughs> It will take a lot of reading and sieving through the existing literature to identify a topic that has been has not been studied enough. Okay, maybe I dah kata tadi the uh, similarity, but uh, we can adjust it to be not a similar. <laughs> adjust it. Reading systematically review meta analysis report and content analysis report. Is a good way to get familiar with a large body or already collected and evaluate research without having uh, to read each of the article individually. Okay, mm, sir, you rasa how many article you can read per day? part yeah, yeah if which which part uh, which part is related relate to your research yeah so maybe uh, for glance through you can get five more than five a day but for uh, the critical part you can only just one maybe one or two article per day right okay so <clears throat> this is the way you can Belajar, how to read. Uh, if macam kita uh, came back to kindergarten, how to read, okay? Uh, without, uh, kita tak perlu baca semua, okay? Pay attention to the introduction and conclusion of article. Okay, first, when kita nak search, uh, itu pun ada, dia ada a way of how we want to search in the internet. Today, internet is lot of information. Kita boleh just uh, in one click, kita get all the one, what we want. Okay, usually some information has already been studied. Why study on this topic are important and what author believe is missing in the literature. Some research article also include a short section on suggestion of the future research. Ah, this one, okay. Kita kena cari dalam artikel tu suggestion of the future research. Tajuk dah lebih kurang. Um, what is uh, in the topics is similar to what we want to do. Okay, we can check it. Limit yourself to more recent article. Uh, please, this one. Within the last five years, because masa you driver, uh, the examiner we check. Okay, your reference dah too long ago. More than 20 years. Ah, I cannot. <clears throat> you have to get the recently. Maybe 
uh, within last five years from your candidacy. Maksudnya, when you uh, first register, you kata you register last year, 2019, so uh, minus five, you only have to check the literature from 2014. Okay. Five years. We did. Yes. Uh, that's the fundamental. Kadang-kadang the fundamental is from the books. Okay. From the books is okay. But paper, journal paper, article. Yeah, maybe, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, basic, the fundamental, maybe kita kena cari dalam buku and buku is tak apa. Uh, so, uh, examiner pun dia akan check. Dia akan check kalau buku, uh, dia okay. Tapi, kalau artikel, maybe kena, memang kena five years. Okay? Artikel ni sebab Every day changes. Every day orang akan uh, submit uh, the article, the new research finding. <coughs> okay, ah uh, this one. Kena familiar. Google Scholar, Wikipedia, uh, uh, Yandex. Okay, journal subscription. You have to uh, know the Scopus, Sign Direct, Springer, online TCs. Okay, uh, kalau sign direct, uh, Scopus ni dia lebih pada, uh, Scopus is uh, social sign juga. Tapi kalau sign direct ni untuk technical lah. Computer, sign, uh, engineering. Okay. You boleh cari contoh, example of thesis, online thesis yang similar to your research. It's okay. And kita boleh juga follow step. Boleh follow. I selalu cakap, I, I, tell, uh, I told my student, you can follow, you can copy paste. First, first you can copy paste. Second, you have to rephrase. Uh, third, you have to do your own. Yang to do your own tu is number three. But first you copy paste because we uh, uh, when you copy paste, you you follow other other work other research work, you can uh, uh, begin, move, move on from what you want to do. If you not copy, you tak bergerak, you tak buat apa. First, yeah. Yeah. Copy, paste, rephrase and uh, build your own sentence. When you, bila dah sampai, uh, you dah sampai dekat uh, writing nanti uh, You face writing Masa writing You akan selalu macam jam What I want to write What I want to write First, kalau tak nak jam Kita tiru dulu Copy paste Tapi you jangan kata I, I suruh <laughs> This ya <yeah. laughs> Ya, yeah, I I copy paste and then I rephrase because uh, because kita kita want to get ideas when uh, we went jam selalu memang when kita writing tu dia akan ambil masa lama I uh, I get uh, one more than one year to finish writing very slow because um, we want to do the technically uh, not a lab report. It's a thesis uh, writing, uh, the the step, the jargon, the systematically. So, uh, how we want to get that, the 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 motivation. Uh, so first, I copy paste, and then I rephrase, and then I do my own work. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, that's when we cite it. When we cite, that's it okay. We're not plagiarism. Uh, plagiarism. Yeah. The puts of word. And then sometimes, uh, sekarang kita dah banyak online uh, check. Bila online check, uh, for example, turn it in. Turn it in, they can check and uh, online kan, similarity kan, similarity checker. So, 
we have to rephrase. Dia akan bagi tahu yang mana sama tu dia suruh kita rephrase. Dia merahkan and please rephrase, rephrase. Ya, boleh kod. Kadang bila kod, ah dia akan ada cited tu. Bila kita tulis cited is okay. Not fel- uh, pr- ya. Ya, government policy memang kita tak boleh ubah. Ya, memang memang terpaksa lah kita kena cite. Okay. <coughs> Ah, this one is how you search keyword with double quote or plus sign. You can check in the uh, online. You can put uh, in the double quote, and juga you can put plus. Okay, for example, government policy. Ah, so you can yeah. government policy in apa? In what area? So, but government policy, a lot of government policy will come out. Okay. Uh, Boolean operator. Okay, you can put and or uh, in big data and privacy issue. Big data or data mining. For example, this is an example. Okay, online social network. Online social network is a lot of online social network. Example of online social network: Facebook, Insta. Uh, that is. Twitter, that is the example. The 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 pecahan dia, dia punya um, example of the online social network. Online shopping, what is online shopping? And the categories of online shopping, categories or the way how do we want to pay to uh, online shopping. So and then we have a lot. Of software uh, or apps, Shopee, Lazada, there's uh, a. So you can uh, search is in the uh, this one lah. Kita boleh okay citing ah uh, this one. And that you ask okay citing is a way of giving credit to individual for their creative and intellectual works that you utilize to support your research. Also can be used to locate particular sources. And combat uh, plagiarism, a citation style in, uh, dictates the information necessary for a citation. How the information is ordered, as well as punctuation and other formatting. Okay, uh, <coughs> yang ini, ya tadi maksud what is citing the references. Okay, this is style. Uh, apa selalunya kita kaya okay in. Uh, sciences, education, psychology, we use APA. Humanities, we use MLA. Chicago, this one. Okay, kalau you go, uh, you you download Mendeley, semua ni dah ada dalam Mendeley. Okay? Dah ada dah. So, you can uh, pilih je, select which one you want, style you want to use. Okay? Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineer, IEEE. This is of Computer Science, Information Technology. We can use IEEE. Okay, ah, uh, this one. In your research proposal and thesis, if you want to include the author name as part of the sentence, the author years must be included in the enclosed in the parentheses. For example, this one. Author name year. Okay, so according to Verma 2017, big data is still an abstract concept for many manufacturing firms. Verma 5 revealed that big data is still abstract concept for many manufacturing firms. 5 ni is dia punya numbering dalam references. Okay, ini cara kita uh, Uh, tadilah apa ke uh, tadi yang tadi ya? Eh? Okay. <coughs> If you do not want to include, uh, kalau kita tak nak include, you don't want to include the author name as part of the sentence, then both the author name and year must include in parentheses. Another researcher, Kiran, he discovered the influence of big data on decision making process. Yang ini istri I triple E. Kalau dia tak ada They don't have names and a year. This is IEEE. 
the numbers is is a number in the uh, list of references. Discovered the influence of big data on decision making process. Big data yang ni dibuat dekat hujung. They put it at the end of the sentence. You can put it like just like this. Big data are increasing driving the changes of decision making and innovation in uh, firms. Okay? <clears throat> so, you can get this uh, slide, you can follow uh, this type. But, okay, here, maybe this is not uh, this is not the word that you copy paste from the the article. Maybe this is your word. Because you said that another researcher discover. This is uh, your sentence. Uh, because maybe before this, you can tell <coughs> um, uh, Suzaima 2019 said that uh, influence of big data is very uh, tremendously now in Malaysia. Uh, another research, uh, they can sambung. They continue. Kiran said that uh, big data now is So, there is maybe your, uh, your sentence. If two authors, and, okay, two authors, for instance, Gupta and George de develop measure of firm capability to orchestrate big data analytics. So, kalau two authors, you can put two names. Okay. But, if more than two authors, uh, you should put at all. Okay? Yeah, yeah. The steps. You can, uh, for example, they have three authors uh, from the journal. So you can put at all. Sharma highlight that why there's some evidence suggesting the big data analytics can create business values. Yeah? Yeah. And. We can put, put N. Both names must put. But more than two, we can just only put the first author and at all. Okay? <coughs> if you find more than group, one group of author describing the same issue, uh, this one, uh, we uh, maybe... There are three papers that talk at the same issue. Okay, we can put like this. Ado Takorang and Hello 2016. Hazen et al. 2014. Lee et al. 2013. Lee et al. 2014. Uh, this one. This is the way <coughs> how you want to write the literature. And this is maybe your sentence, not the sentence from the article. Because you the conclude, you conclude that all this author talk about the same issue. Uh, so you make your own sentence about the same issue, about the cost, benefit, Quality and perspective in industry or big data in industry. Okay, understand? <clears throat> uh, and I suggest you to always do all your literature like this format. You do a table, please. It's, uh, uh, it will <clears throat> easier for you to write a very good literature when you do this uh, table type of literature. But you must put the uh, title. For example, uh, for example, your topic. Please, uh, sir, you put what is your topic? I not tulis.
Lisa, can you write your question here? Ah, what was? <coughs> because uh, we can do the literature based on topic. All the terms in the liter in the topics, we can do the literature. Point R R two. Uh, just ah, uh, in the full sentence. Ah, uh, in the full sentence. Nanti kita tarik sikit uh, tu. One topic, okay. So can uh, so this is the topic. So you must from the topic you must first uh, take out the term. What the important term? Okay, first three ir, four ir. That's the important term. Malaysia, eh? one term. Okay, HR element is one term. The keyword, ah, the keyword. Okay, you must have a, a three to four keyword in your <coughs> topic. But now, uh, I'm sorry, this this topic is still too general. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Um, in HR element, okay, dia dah ada. Ah, uh, yang maksudnya dia punya uh, what uh, variable yang dia nak tengok is HR. Okay, this is apa yang what yang you want to study and uh, Malaysia in Malaysia. Yeah, the policy. Okay, Malaysia. Okay, nanti uh, you akan specify lah sebenarnya uh, from time to time uh, you akan check the need because uh, sebenarnya dalam topik kita mas ada verbal, ada teknik. Uh, teknik what you want to 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 uh, the verbal the Depend variable or what is variable parameter you want to study, and what technique you want to use to study the to solve the problem. Uh, the problem also have must put in the concise and precise as uh, to become a topic. And then, okay, here when you do the literature, you pergi one by one. First Malaysia policy katakan. So you buat one table. Yang macam tu. Uh, what is the article? Who say that? The article or author and uh, dia punya uh, explanation. So you have maybe now you only have to get uh, four 
four table. Because I dah pecahkan Malaysia, four IR, three IR, four IR, HR element. Okay. So, I nak after this, all of you try to put. Okay, now, as a uh, exercise, please write your toy, uh, title and um, garis scan. Underline what is the keyword from your title so that you can check the literature for every keyword. Please. Now, right. Each keyword. It's easier for you. And then you can, uh, after you finish the table, you can um, connect, uh, connect, it, connect each of the table to become a literature review. And after that, you can get your second chapter. Is it easier? Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so, leadership? Title yet. Okay. Uh, so, you can discuss this uh, uh, with your supervisor. What your topic? And because we, uh, we have to get a topic. Because that topic, you can, it can guide you. It can guide you to, to do your research uh, within three years. Okay, if you tak ada topik, ya macam merawang-rawang lagi pergi sana pergi sini. So nanti you tak ada guide. Okay, you kena precise and concise. Okay, so <coughs> this is uh, citing references. Okay, review application of IOT increase uh, organization performance. Okay, dia kata. Uh, emphasize author name instead of idea or finding. Citing the reference. Okay. Exercise. Ah, ni dia kata exercise. Nanti you, you buat lah. Okay. Find at least 10 article from uh, which uh, uh, database that you want to search. Save in a reference manager, Mendeley or Zotero. Prepare your draft of thesis in uh, Microsoft Word. Okay. This is exercise. Okay, maybe you can do the exercise and uh, you can report to Mr. Uh, Prof. Chow to, uh, to hands over the, to uh, this exercise. Okay. Please, you can do this. So, if you dah settle this, memang chapter 2, nanti uh, when you want to submit your thesis, your chapter 2 is already done. Uh, just a makeup lah, nanti kita akan baiki, tambah. If um, uh, maybe they have a new uh, reference come out, so kita can tukar the reference, okay, tukar the article, so it's very uh, easier for you. Literature review, critical analysis, research related to specific topic or research question. Ah, uh, ni ayat kata buat my mapping tadi from your keyword 
dia akan kembang pergi mana pergi mana. So maybe this one dia akan ada four bulatan ni. Okay, identify major seminal work, identify pattern in literature, find other people working in your field, find out what information already exists in your field of research. Identify main methodology and research technique. Show relationship between previous study or theories. Identify main idea, conclusion, theory, and the similarity and differences. Provide contact for your own research. Okay, how to write a literature review? Decide a topic. That's the thing. Decide a topic. Identify the literature. Identify the literature. How you want to identify? You underline the keyword. Tak termasuk es ni. Okay, I I add this. Identify the literature. Identify the keyword or literature. Analyze the literature. Screening, skimming. Summarize the literature in table. Okay, in table. Put in table. Uh, follow the uh, the keyword that you underline. Synthesize the literature prior to writing your review. Writing the literature review, check the essay again, again and again. Again and again to within three years to you akan again, again, again. <laughs> Sampai you submit your thesis. How to write a literature? Ah, uh, this one. Uh. Eh. How to write a literature? Introduction, give quick idea. Okay, chapter two, introduction. Okay, online social network, fake account, online social network detection, fake account detection technique is the key word from the topics. This is my uh, master student uh, topic. He done the he do the online social network. Uh, how to detect fake account? Okay, how uh, today many of us uh, kalau dah biasa dia akan jumpa fake account. Dia tipu sebab tak nak tunjuk diri sebenar. So <coughs> introduction you. You can do like this. You put the introduction for chapter two, and you can put the keyword that you underline as a, a topic uh, that you want to check. Okay, uh, you don't get uh, from uh, Miss. Yeah, you can get four. Two, two point two, two point three, two point four, two point five, already done. Yeah, from only the topic. Okay, it's not hard to do. Okay, and body content your discussion source and you can cari lah. Ah, this one you can you can find in ah you can find it in the internet. Organize either chronological, thematically, or methodologically, and recommendation discuss what you have drawn from the reviewing literature so far. And where might the discussion proceed? Okay. Selalu the summary is the uh, you punya argument to get uh, the gap between the uh, literature and your what you have you want to do. Uh, so here you summarize it, and dia akan jadi like this. I kata tadi dia sama macam ni. The breadth of the research and the depth of the research, and you sekarang for your PhD you jadi macam ni. You akan tengok dia detail. For for three IR, what is an example? What is the concept? And uh, how we do the, uh, how we can get the 3G, the 4IR. Okay, approach it, variable it, technique to identify, to use the 3IR. New issue, what an issue? Is it you check for the security purpose? Not. You check only the HR element. Okay. So, 
you can check it and detail it for every single term or keyword in your topic. Okay. <clears throat> so, how to write a literature? Summarize literature in the table. Ah, this one. Synthesis table of section. Synthesis table of Malaysia policy and 3G. Synthesis table of Malaysian policy and 4G. Synthesis table of uh, Malaysian policy uh, uh, H in, uh, for HR element issue. So you you can put a lot of table table table, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so you have to change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and then the maybe uh, when you have done your literature, you you get this. Table, maybe, okay, because a lot of um, information. How to write a literature? Ni you combine, combine lah. From the table, you combine, combine, and then you get your own literature review. Okay. So how to write literature review? Analyze price uh, plus synthesis. You can get critical literature review. Clear, direct to the point, concise, giving a lot of information in a few words, uh, brief and comprehensive, and use the word consistently. Ni how to write uh, English, semua, semua tu, maybe uh, you dah biasa, kan? right? Okay, uh, you baca ni. This is how the literature review. Tapi daripada gosip saja. Kalau tak... Orang. A third party yang said about this But the third party may be more than one Or uh, only just uh, two of them Okay, so this a uh, step <coughs> the Additional material, you can uh, go to this uh, PDF So academic phrase bank So it's a lot of free grammatical a checker, document plagiarism, uh, boleh check, top five master degree, college admin, dan, epic, uh, dan sebagainya. So, this one, you can uh, download noplek.com also. Okay. That's all. I ada satu lagi slide untuk uh, literary search. Uh, search. Saya rasa. Internet search tool. Ah. So, because uh, trends sekarang, we have an internet to assist us to do research. So, it's a lot of internet research tool as a research tool. So, quality web material. Okay, kita boleh search and get what we want to do, <coughs> internet and its potential in research. 
So they are akan using te, uh, them to ad, uh, advantage in writing. So you can it it can help you to write. Search engine, uh, okay, journal subscription and online PC. You can you boleh check this semua software system. Uh, search internet search and juga kita boleh tengok pada web yang mana berkaitan uh, mix of page image video infographic article research paper okay this yang tadi lah Google Scholar Duck Duck Go Bring Bing Bing Wiki okay, a lot of information yang kita boleh search dari Internet, uh, search engine, okay. Uh, but sekarang uh, we can use Google very uh, informative, okay. Search engine, Yandex, uh, startpage.com, most private search engine. Alert. In search engine, boleh juga you can create alert because if a new article join, so uh, the search engine will alert you. Okay, alert. Uh, how to do alert? Here, alert. So kita check lah. Kita bagi tahu what what uh, uh, things that we want uh, the search engine to alert us. Okay, alert query. You can set and you put your email there. Okay, search of ah, when we look at the Or CID, or CID, Springer. There's a lot of information. Data set, standard, uh, policy. We can search it. Cross reference. Okay, uh, this is uh, the su subscription. I think AEU have a lot of uh, journal subscription. Uh, so we, uh, when you register here, you can uh, automatically uh, can use all the subscription from the uh, AEU. So this is from uh, UPNM library. Okay, sign direct. More than one million researcher are already used sign direct. Okay. <coughs> Springer link, books, journals, protocol reference for IT. Springer link is a very good uh, uh, journal check uh, for us. Journal subscription, kita boleh subscribe But uh, selalunya library AEU dah ada So you can use <coughs> Scopus My journal okay. I can download, I still can't download The extremely important journal Okay, sometimes Kalau kita tak boleh, kita boleh Minta uh, university Tolong Dapatkan, okay? We ask the uh, library person at the university to download. They boleh share because they ada bila uh, library to library they ada uh, subscription and they boleh uh, pinjam buat pinjaman, okay? Lend uh, from other library. So are you sure for are you, are you sure they ada uh, online thesis? Why kita nak kita kena check ada ada thesis? Maybe it's similar or um, lebih kurang so we we can uh, follow we can check and uh, what yang different yang kita perlu uh, do for our uh, research? Okay, uh, Manchester University of Manchester Library. Worldwide thesis. Maybe they are, they are do the 4G to 4, uh, uh, 3G to 4G uh, in UK policy. So you do in Malaysia policy because Malaysia and UK is very different. 
the student, the environment, the acceptance, the knowledge is different. So you can do that in Malaysia. <coughs> Document management. Ah, okay. This is the thing young you have to do. Uh, research management. How you manage your research. Because when you go back to Town Baru China and eh, forgot where I put eh, the file. Uh, you just go to holiday for one week, for example. And then after that, oh no, where I put it? Where is my last page? Uh, my last, is it I, I see or not? Uh? Uh, so please, this is the management. Because you nak cari file, kan kadang you habis satu hari cari file. Kita tak mau buang masa. Don't, uh, okay, please. All document, article, conference in folder. Give name each folder according to your to your research team. 3G, all the 3G things. 4G, so 4IR, so all the 4IR. Policy, all the policy. Malaysia policy. In the folder, have a policy. In the folder, uh, folder policy, have Malaysia policy, UK policy. It's better for you to manage. Because... The one that finish can finish on time is the one yang very good in manage. Not the very vil, uh, brilliant student. Some, some lah, some. Come some case. Give name and each uh, year for each article and place in the appropriate folder. Okay, 2020. First year. Second year, 2021. 2022. And finish. Please, <coughs> document management. This one is a uh, date modify. You can check. You can refer. Okay, the uh, the folder name. Use only one file of MS Word to write all the chapter. Use only one file of MS Word to write all the chapter. Use navigation pane and head, heading. You can assist to write your... Okay. Um, one file of Amazon to write all the chapter. Yang ni, uh, it's depend. Uh, for me, I I put one chapter for one file. Uh, one chapter in one file. For example, chapter one, chapter two uh, in one file. And then baru when we want to submit... We uh, print it and uh, put the uh, page number. We, we, we arrange the page number. Okay? So, it's to you lah. Tapi, uh, for me, I, I think it's better one file for one chapter. Okay, tak mix. Okay, document management, chapter one. Okay, this is one suggestion. For motivation, you can... Uh, you can make a um, five kosong. Dia panggil five kosong, but dia ada nama. It's a motivation. Uh, maybe you want, okay, you target, your target uh, chapter one, chapter three, chapter, chapter uh, for 2020 ni, 2000, for this year, you nak finish three chapter. So, you buat semua chapter. You all the thesis in AAU have uh, six to five chapter. Uh, five to six chapter lah. Ada orang akan buat six, ada orang akan buat seven. Is uh, up to the supervisor. Okay, format. So, you buat sendiri your chapter kosong ni. Ada kan, dia ada uh, ni contoh. Introduction, you buat je. Chapter one, dia mesti ada what uh, uh, must be in the chapter one. Introduction. Uh, background, objective, tulis saja dia punya headings. Nanti, when times to time, you add on, add on. So, it's motivation. When, okay, you target maybe after January, I must put, uh, I must uh, um, fill all the blank in chapter one. So, you tengok dah February, oh, dah penuh. So, rasa senang hati. Motivation tu. Bekerja lagi. 
lagi cepat, lagi cepat, lagi cepat. Okay. So, better for you to prepare ni. Navigation pain and headings. Ah uh, Ni put yang semua ni. Okay. Ni navigation pain ni semua uh, kita boleh check. Okay. In the uh, our word. Okay. <coughs> Uh, EndNote, Mendeley and Zotero. So this one yang uh, you can download and attach it to your word, uh, word uh, processing, Microsoft Word. Organize your document, reference, collaborate, joining, creating group, discover statistics, recommendation. Okay, dia boleh, what is Mendeley? Free academic software. Cross platform, all major browser. So you you can all the reference that you find your search in the uh, browser in the internet, you can put in the Mendeley and you can attach it to the word. So when you want to do the list of reference, you can uh, get it from the Mendeley to word automatically. Okay, ah uh, this one. Is Mendeley Desktop Overview. This is Mendeley Overview, Reference Manager. Adding documents so you can add when you write, uh, when you search in the internet, you find a very good article. You add the document in the Mendeley and install the citation plugin in your Microsoft Word so you can set install web importer. So, automatically dia boleh tarik. Okay? I think semua orang dah buat kan? Dah ada buat kan? Huh? Uh, Mendeley, okay. References. Okay, here uh, in uh, Word also they have the style, so you can uh, 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 
select which Taiwan. Okay, APA, Chicago, all these things dah ada. MLA, Turban. Okay. Uh, insert citation pun also add new source. Dari mana kita nak dapat? Okay, daripada internet kita boleh cari. <coughs> For example, wait, uh, from Mendeley, katakan this one. Uh, export. Export PDF with annotation import export. Okay, export. Okay, kita ambil daripada mana kan? Kalau export kita ambil. Uh, saya tak jumpa dia punya link kejap. Index Oh, index uh, uh, Sekejap, sebab Because this one, I have uh, A new uh, My new computer Because I nak, I tak sync Dengan Mendeley So you boleh cari how to sync uh, Mendeley dengan To, to add the Mendeley web importer in in the uh, Mendeley to your word okay so you you can uh, do your this one lah you buat sebab air tu ada problem sikit hari tu tak apa uh, tapi if you you tambah anything you you add to your Mendeley dia automatically dia akan boleh masuk dekat Word, okay. So, uh, citation toolbar like this lah, macam like ni. The Mendeley citation plugin make insert citation to your research. Oh, dia dia insert citation tu. Okay, yang this one. Uh, you export insert citation. So, uh, click insert or edit citation. Uh, kemudian ambil daripada Mendeley. Okay, sekejap. I tak eh.
uh, choose your style and insert bibliography. Okay, kalau you ada nanti ada komputer, you boleh try. Okay, follow the step yang dalam slide ni. First, uh, uh, plug in yang ni. All document, Mendeley desktop, tool, check duplicate. Install your web importer. Install MS Word plugin. Okay, you can install web MS Word plugin. Kemudian, dia boleh masuk automatically. Ada bar uh, yang citation bar tool ni. Daripada Mendeley, dia akan masuk dekat dalam Word. And then you boleh uh, tarik dokumen tu. Okay. So, uh, that's all. I harap you understand all the uh, today, how you want to do the literature review. Okay. Hopefully, is it okay or you want to ask any question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully you can prepare your research proposal and defend it uh, successfully. Uh, okay, or you you can get all the stuff or the slide from Encik Arif. Uh -huh. uh, and you can if you want to contact me, I'm. Uh, I right here. This is my email and my contact number. Okay. You contact or email me, you want to ask anything. Uh, hopefully, you can finish your research proposal and defend it successfully. And you success in your PhD or degree. Okay? Thank you and I'm sorry for anything. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just to just clarify a little bit because there were, uh, I mean, the, the uh, research proposal is varies from university to university. Okay, so uh, just to inform uh, Prof. Zaima, that uh, our admission into the PhD program is just two page uh, internal research. It's not a proposal. So unlike other universities, they must come out with a proposal. But here, a little bit different because uh, we found that uh, to have to be able to write a brief research proposal, you need to be a student and to access into the library. But then uh, it is a chicken and egg problem because you are not a student, you can't access. So we said, okay, two pages of uh, internal research uh, will suffice the uh, uh, program to help us to locate the uh, supervisor. Okay, at the big, uh, 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 from the uh, beginning, we were only looking forward for about 12 to 15 pages of research proposal. Okay, so then when it comes to uh, Proposal defense. The uh, examiner says, why don't you include this? Why don't you include that? Then they say, my uh, instruction, the handbook says 12 to 15 pages. I wanted to write more, but because the instruction says 12 to 15 pages, so I didn't write. So now we have, uh, to, to avoid that, we have allowed you to increase. 
the uh, number of pages to that. So there are a few things that uh, during proposal defense. Uh, <coughs> one is that if you write a brief research proposal, you allow the examiners to give as much input as possible into your uh, research proposal, right? Which also means that as a, uh, as just like any other supervisors or any even auditors, MQA auditors, it's easy to ask students to do because you're not doing it. It's easy to say. So you must avoid that sometimes by uh, whereby the examiners or the readers uh, will, uh, will ask you to do, I mean, in a way, quality means the sky is the limit. You, you don't have any cap there. You, and examiners will always say, in the uh, context of quality, and you shall do whatever you want, and the, um, it's limitless. So there must be some standard that we must adhere to where it's recognizable, uh, acceptable anywhere in the world. So then we, uh, we would like you to do whatever you want to do, but must be justified. That is to say, write enough so that the examiners will not put his own ideas inside there into your uh, uh, research uh, proposal. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, you, and also, some of them will write the research proposal by thinking, okay, when I come to my thesis part, I don't need to write so much. I just add on uh, chapter four and five, the result. Okay, so that means to say he has written quite substantive uh, uh, research proposal. That's up to you. Huh? But what Prof mentioned just now, uh, many examiners say, hey, you didn't change much in your research in your thesis, from your research proposal, you don't change much because the tenses used in research uh, proposal are future tense. And then the thesis will be in past tense. So you have not changed the tense in the uh, proposal there. Okay? Now, come to the uh, references or review of literature. Uh, as an academic, and both of us, or some of you are working as an academic, we, work, we will wake up in the morning with this maxim, they call it uh, publish or perish. Huh? Which means to say, for us to be in the academia, we must show proof that we have publications. All right. So many of us, when we publish, it will be from the thesis. That is to say, a thesis can produce about three, three or four articles in two journals. So, Backtrack, which to say that if you read an article, it doesn't mean it is a thesis, because it's part of a thesis. So, so don't think that the research article uh, is good enough for uh, to do for, as a as a research work for a thesis, because we have broken it up into uh, several parts. And obviously, we can't even publish our thesis into a journal because they, they restrict us in the number of pages. The most is about twenty to twenty-five pages. So. In, a, in an article, you always see that the main, the scientific part of the article are the results and discussion, not the review. Review is very scanty. They just want to, uh, because you, the person who reads the article are knowledgeable in that area. Knowledgeable in the sense that they, they don't want all the preliminaries. They want the new findings and the uh, conclusions in the article. So that is the difference between uh, article and thesis. Okay, so, and also the, uh, another reason why we have increased the research proposal is the, the length of research proposal is because the research proposal has many, to us, has many purposes. One, a student asking for transfer of candidature. So transfer candidature, when we want to uh, uh, transfer from another university, which means to say he must have done substantive work. And normally, the uh, transfer allowable here is half of the candidature period uh, over the other side. So half means he has done substantive work. Okay, the other thing is the uh, proposal is also used to upgrade. Uh, let's say you registered for your master's. Okay, after a year of work, 
And if it is seen to be a good piece of work, which can be converted to a PhD, we will do that. And therefore, we cannot rely on 12 to 15 pages of uh, research proposals to convert somebody's program from a master's to a uh, PhD. So that's why we, we have increased it uh, a little bit more. And the practice MQA or many other British universities is that uh, some of them don't allow you to go straight into a PhD program. You must go into the master's and field program, uh, migrate to, uh, to uh, PhD. Over here, MQA has a ruling saying that there, is, there shall be no direct entry from first degree to PhD. That is to say, even you have a first class, like most British universities, it's first class you can go through into your uh, PhD program. But here, MQA restrict that, saying that you must enroll for your master's, and then up to which, if your uh, progress is excellent, you shall now request for a uh, conversion to the uh, PhD. All right? So that's a different purpose of uh, uh, um, for research proposal. So, Prof. Uh, Rosina has um, uh, given us a, a good uh, account of from, from chapter one right up to chapter three. And uh, uh, one of those things that I have not uh, really uh, seriously looked into is the Mendeley. And uh, because we are still in the old school, so we have uh, not been very structured in that. And true enough, sometimes when you are looking for literature that's so important, you take the whole day locating the, the literature where I have read it and being a professor who's, who's known to be forgetful. Huh? So to locate that will be very frustrating. So I think it's time that we uh, learn how to use uh, Mendeley. Previously in my research class, I've asked uh, Hobber to, uh, to do that because Hobber is quite versatile in, uh, in Mendeley. I think you're, you're also quite versatile <laughs> so anyway, uh, we have only about another 12 hours to spend for the weekend, so let's not uh, <laughs> rattle anymore. <laughs> so on behalf of the university, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Prof for sharing with us. Ah, the other thing where Prof was surprised, uh, he, he happened to be our uh, reader for the proposal, and he said, AU is very peculiar. Because most universities' proposal defense is always read internally. And we have external uh, uh, reader to uh, provide an external input for our program here. Okay, with that, I'd like to thank again.